I'll show you how to create this UML activity diagram using ASTA. First, click on Activity Diagram on the Start screen. Drawing step is very simple. Choose the model you want from the toolbar and click on the diagram and enter the name. Now, an initial node as a starting point for executing this activity. Let's add an action which represents a single step within an activity. To create one, just double click on the diagram. Next is control flow which indicates which action it goes to next after the previous one is complete. To create one, you see this mini arrow here, just attached to the next action. If you want actions to appear in the tree view, open the system properties from tool menu and check this option in the project view. The fork node, which is used to split incoming flow into multiple concurrent flows. You can choose which you want, horizontal or vertical. Let's add the rest of actions in different way this time. If you already have a list of actions in a spreadsheet or text editor, you can just copy them and paste on a diagram. These new actions look a little too wide, so let's make them into the same size as this action. Select them all and choose Adjust Size. A list opens, choose the one in the size you want the others to be. Add a stereotype to this action. Hit Alt, Control, and S or Alt, Command, and S if you're on Mac. Let's horizontally center these actions. Now, let's add an object node which can represent such data or object to be passed along with the flow. Join node is used to synchronize multiple incoming flows and makes a single outgoing flow. Just like fork node, choose which way you like and click on a diagram. This is a merge node which brings together multiple alternate flows. This is not used for synchronizing concurrent flows but to accept one among several alternate flows. Now we need a decision node in here which is a branch point of single incoming flow to traverse depending on the conditions. So we want to make a space here. Choose the gap expander in here and just drag to the right. There. And add a decision node. You can just move this arrow point to let it attach to this node. And you can enter the guard which is the condition of this outgoing flow directly. At last, the activity final node which indicates the end of this activity. And it's complete. If you want to see more videos, come check it out astablog.com. Thank you for watching.